Abortion rights will be on the Vermont ballot come November, the new amendment closer to being added to the state constitution. Good evening. We appreciate you joining us on a Tuesday night. I'm Lauren Maloney. From the State House, the Vermont House overwhelmingly passed the Reproductive Liberty Amendment this morning. That means voters will decide whether Vermont will be the first state to guarantee the right to an abortion in its constitution. State House reporter Devin Bates joins us live in the capital city to explain the vote and just what exactly you may see on the ballot. Devin. That's right, Lauren. A big day here in Montpelier for Vermont lawmakers. This marked the end of a four year process to amend the state's constitution that included some fierce debates along the way. Now, while the work might be done here at the state house, the work of Vermont voters is just getting started. Vermont's Reproductive Liberty Amendment, also known as Prop 5, is intended to safeguard the right to reproductive liberty granted under Roe v. Wade, regardless of any future decision by the U.S. Supreme Court. Now attention turns to a future decision made by Vermont voters who will ultimately determine whether those protections make it all the way to the state's constitution. What it's saying is that you have the right to reproductive justice. You have the right to become pregnant and carry a child. You have the right to seek an abortion if you choose. You have the right to use or refuse contraception. So really this is codifying the current practice that we've had in Vermont for about 50 years. The final vote in the House included 41 lawmakers who voted against the amendment, including Republican State Rep Vicki Strong, who's been a vocal opponent of the proposal since it was introduced back in 2019. If Proposition 5 moves forward and is passed in November, future legislatures will be limited to enact any legislation that can help to protect the unborn at any stage of pregnancy or protect these vulnerable young women struggling with an unplanned pregnancy. From now until November's election, Vermonters will certainly continue to hear arguments made by legislators and organizations both for and against the Reproductive Liberty Amendment. Lucy LaRiche of Planned Parenthood Northern New England said it's important to break through the noise and get the facts. That is why it's really important for organizations like Planned Parenthood who are trusted health care providers can move forward and provide accurate information, fact-based information, so that voters can hopefully sort through, sort through those confusing and misleading messages and get to the truth about um, reproductive autonomy. Certainly something we're going to be talking a lot about as the year goes on. Amending the state's constitution is a big deal, as we've said all along. And also voters will be seeing another proposed amendment on the ballot, Proposition 2, which clarifies the state's prohibition on slavery and indentured servitude. We told you all about that on Friday when the House passed it. Plenty more to come throughout the year. But for right now, live in Montpelier, Devin Bates, Local 22 News.